this is unnormal. Amius in general is completely convoluted and I hate him as a boss. I do my best to not engage with him manually. I just want to throw things on auto, especially when the boss is extremely hard like this. Some people struggle with Amius. It's not their fault. I was in the middle of editing one of my other videos and I checked here and I won. Again, it's unnormal, not a, not too impressive, but if you have these champions or some variation of this, um, maybe it might help for anybody who wants to defeat Amius on normal. I'm going to hit replay just to see what happened, but as you can see, it does work. And I'm curious to see what exactly was the, the reason that this worked. I will admit some thought went into picking my champions, but it didn't really... You know, I, I didn't spend too much time thinking about it. I knew that Pytheon would be good for damage mitigation and some cleanses. I know Alatreon would be good for the same thing with some shields and the protected buffs that he places, as well as the cleanse. And because he has a five-star blessing, he has Brimstone. And again, some of you guys might have a problem with me showing you this, but it, this is for anybody who can do it. If you can't do it, then go do something else. Um, but our attack is here for the decreased attack. And I think when you're going up against Amius, the few interactions that I've had with him, decreased attack is going to be huge. Decreased attack, HP burns are pretty nice because HP burns can't be reversed in any way. So our attack brings both of those things. Plus he increases the debuff duration for the HP burns. So the more time you have the HP burns up, especially when he's taking turns left and right, it could be very useful. Now, again, Pytheon with the damage mitigation means that the more buffs that we have, the less damage we're taking by 5% per buff. Cardio's here for uh, increased to speed, some revive on death action, as well as the increase to some crit damage as well. Crit rate, uh, every little bit helps. Alatreon, cleanse, protected buffs, just mentioned, and then the protected brimstone and then nut is here for his enemy max hp which is probably actually we're pretty certain that that's where the bulk of the damage is going to be coming from i don't remember which form you can't kill him in was it this one or, or this one i forgot which one it is is it the first one or the second one you can't kill is it this one? Oh, okay so it is this one you can only kill him in the first first form i'm curious to see what other teams might work as well but for now i'll just go give you guys a quick rundown uh, i'm pretty sure there's other guides out there uh, i know venomage is one of the champions i've seen a lot uh, for people going up against amius even on hard but i know cardio was here i just did a guide on cardio if you want more in-depth uh, information on his build check that out but these are the stats that i have on him triple speed Basically make him fast, tanky, and temp change, uh, temp chains fully booked. I had him in the lead for the speed aura. And then here are the masteries if you want to see the masteries. In fact, let me show you guys these specific pieces of gear. Because I know a lot of you guys like seeing specific pieces of gear focusing on speed, survivability here. And Cardio does have a little bit of damage on him as a... Uh, champion that I have in my Fire Knight, hard Fire Knight team to make the run go faster. Alatran was here too. He's in a Relentless set. Here are the specific pieces of gear. Just an awesome champion all around. I've been using him against the Odin dungeon, the protected buffs. Just chef's kiss, bro. Chef's fucking kiss. More survivability here. And it's mainly these moves. It removes all debuffs and then places block debuffs. It's protected, as well as the shield and increased defense, which helps out quite a bit. And then the brimstone. Six star. Oh, he's a six star. He's at six stars. Wow. Okay. I had no idea. And then here, we have him in bulwark. So there's that. If you want to copy that, as always, do not blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy masteries. Here is Pytheon in a bolster set. He's healing every time he takes a turn. Not a big heal, 10%. But here are the specific pieces of gear for anybody interested. Res survivability, speed, resistance on the chest, speed on speed with the boots, 
this could be changed to more HP or defense, but uh, it's not a high priority, so I haven't really gotten around to it. He doesn't need accuracy. More resistance would probably benefit him more. And then here are the masteries for Pytheon. So go ahead and use that. I should actually change this since I don't use Pytheon that much in live arena or arena in general. I could probably change this to something else, but there's that. And then Newt, of course, uh, I've changed Newt around a few times. I should do an updated guide on him, but he is my fire, my hard fire knight nut. And he's in a ignore damage set, so lethal and perception because I need to have accuracy and speed and damage on him. So these are the total, did I show you the total stats for Pytheon? Sorry. Here are the total stats for Pytheon, 258 speed, survivability here, defense, HP, and then resistance, that's all that matters. And uh, Alatran, did I show you guys that? I don't think I did. Survivability, speed. So I just want to do this real quick for you guys so I can get back to doing Thor. And then, I mean, hold on, no Diddy. I meant working on the Thor edit. Crit damage, crit rate, speed, HP, defense. Again, Newt has his damage coming from his defense stats. So keep that in mind. Accuracy on the chest. I mean... This is just a reference, but if you guys obviously make it work however you want to work, then place whatever you think is best. I don't know what I'm doing like 90% of the time, so always take what I'm showing you guys with a grain of salt. I'm just sharing what's working for me, but that doesn't mean that this is the only way or that it's the right way. Again, I get things wrong all the time. And who is the last person that I had here. Oh, Artak. Artak. I do need to do a guide. I've got a I do I do need to do a guide on Artak. He is my hard ice golem solo champion. As well as um a solo champion for a lot of Centranos. Here are the specific pieces of gear. Looking for speed, accuracy, resistance, survivability, basically everything when it comes to hard ice golem, because the hard ice golem hits extremely hard and the accuracy and resistance requirements to resist the decreased defense the the heal reduction and anything are pretty high here are the specific or uh, here's the uh, stats that i have survivability defense hp 276 speed 477 accuracy 404 resistance this is also a pretty good build for hydra um just you know as a little side note and then here are the masteries taking extra resistance as well as spirit haste but that doesn't apply for amius too much now i will tell you this when it comes to going up against amius you do not want to have champions with cycle of magic cycle of magic will screw you up because it's going to force change amius uh, i think i remember reading one of his skills cycle of magic or bringing a decreased cooldown champion or having decreased cooldown accessories is going to fuck you. So if you're wondering why it's not working for you, check your masteries. That could be a thing. 